Here are the most recent deaths in the national news as reported at Legacy.com the first week of August 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Clifton Oliver died August 2, 2023, in New York. He died following a lengthy illness at the age of 47. He starred on stage as Simba in the hit Disney musical The Lion King on Broadway as well as in the national touring production. Oliver is also being remembered for his roles in the musicals Wicked and Lin-Manuel Miranda's In the Heights. Actor Mark Margolis died August 3, 2023, in New York. He died at the age of 83. He starred as Hector Salamanca in the hit television shows Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Margolis is also being remembered for his work in the films Scarface, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, and My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. A note to remember, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Actress Sharon Farrell died May 15, 2023, in Orange County, California. She died of natural causes at the age of 82. Her death was publicly reported this week. She starred in the 1974 horror film It's Alive, as well as Marlowe, The Stuntman, and Can't Buy Me Love. Farrell is also being remembered for her seven-year tenure on the soap opera The Young and the Restless. Rock musician John Gosling died August 4, 2023, at the age of 75. He was the keyboardist for the rock band The Kinks from 1970 to 1977, beginning with their classic hit song, Lola. Gosling is also being remembered for forming The Cast Off Kinks, a band made up of several former members of The Kinks. Retired General James J. Lindsay died August 5, 2023, in Vass, North Carolina. He died of natural causes at the age of 90. He led the 82nd Airborne Division and in 1988 was appointed the first commander of Special Operations Command. Lindsay is also being remembered for helping create the Airborne and Special Operations Museum in Fayetteville, North Carolina. His service in the U.S. Army ran nearly four decades, from 1952 to 1990. Attorney and law professor Charles Ogletree died August 4, 2023, in Odenton, Maryland. He died of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 70. Ogletree was considered one of the nation's top legal scholars. He taught both Barack and Michelle Obama during their law school years. Ogletree is also being remembered as an advocate for Anita Hill, Tupac Shakur, and victims of the 1921 Tulsa race riots. Director William Friedkin died August 7, 2023, in Bel Air, California. He died of heart failure and pneumonia at the age of 87. He won an Oscar for directing The French Connection, and he also directed The Exorcist, which became the first horror movie ever nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Friedkin is also being remembered for directing works such as Sorcerer, To Live and Die in L.A., and Rules of Engagement. Brazilian singer Lenny Andrade died July 24, 2023, in Rio de Janeiro. She died of Lewy body dementia at the age of 80. Known as the First Lady of Brazilian Jazz, her celebrated series of shows at Manhattan's Ballroom Theater in 1991 brought her international acclaim. Andrade is being remembered for her innovative mix of bossa nova, jazz, and scat vocal styles. Disc jockey Willie Perry Jr., known professionally as DJ Casper, died August 7, 2023, in Chicago. He died of kidney and liver cancer at the age of 58. 
he wrote the early 2000s hit Cha-Cha Slide, also known as Casper Slide Part 1. DJ Casper is being remembered for creating a song that is now a standard at weddings, proms, and parties across the world. Musician and songwriter Sixto Rodriguez, known professionally as Rodriguez, died August 8, 2023. He died at the age of 81. He was featured in the Academy Award-winning documentary about his music career, Searching for Sugar Man. Rodriguez is also being remembered for his protest folk albums of the 1970s, Cold Fact and Coming from Reality. Broadcaster and former Detroit Tigers player Jim Price died August 7, 2023. He died at the age of 81. He was beloved as a Tigers color commentator on radio and television for more than three decades. Price is being remembered for the catchphrases he used in calling plays, such as Buggy Whip and Touch Em All. World War II codebreaker Margaret McFarlane died July 20, 2023 in the United Kingdom. She died at the age of 102. She was one of the Enigma codebreakers who worked with Alan Turing at Bletchley Park, as depicted in the film The Imitation Game, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. McFarlane is being remembered for her work in helping crack German codes, for which she is celebrated on the Roll of Honor managed by the Bletchley Park Trust. Businessman turned civic leader Richard O. Simpson died July 21, 2023 in DeLand, Florida. He was 93 years old. In 1972, President Richard Nixon appointed him the very first chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Simpson is being remembered for championing the use of child-resistant caps on medicine bottles and for his book, The Quest for Safer Products. Voice actor Johnny Hardwick died August 8, 2023, in Austin, Texas. He died at the age of 64. He was best known as the voice of Dale Gribble, Hank's conspiracy theorist friend on the Emmy Award-winning animated show, King of the Hill. Hardwick is also being remembered as the first stand-up comedian to perform on The Jon Stewart Show. Musician Robbie Robertson died August 9, 2023, in Los Angeles. He died of prostate cancer at the age of 80. He was a guitarist and songwriter with the iconic Canadian-American rock group, The Band. Robertson is also being remembered for his career as a composer. He composed soundtracks for films such as Raging Bull and The Wolf of Wall Street. At least 36 people have died in wildfires on the island of Maui in Hawaii this week. This tragic event is ongoing at the time of this recording. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. One year ago this week, Singer and actress Olivia Newton-John died at the age of 73. She starred in the hit movie musical Grease and had chart-topping singles like I Honestly Love You and Physical. Ten years ago this week, actress Karen Black died at the age of 74. She was nominated for an Oscar for her performance in Five Easy Pieces and starred in other films like Easy Rider and The Great Gatsby. Fourteen years ago this week, filmmaker John Hughes died at the age of 59. His many classic comedies include The Breakfast Club, Home Alone, and National Lampoon's Vacation. Fifteen years ago this week, singer and songwriter Isaac Hayes died at the age of 65. He was a legend of soul music, known for songs like Soul Man and his own performance of the theme from Shaft. Fifteen years ago this week, actor and comedian Bernie Mac died at the age of 50. 
In addition to his self-titled TV show, he was known for such movies as The Ocean's Trilogy and Soul Men. Twenty years ago this week, dancer, actor, and singer Gregory Hines died at the age of 57. Considered one of the greatest tap dancers of all time, he starred in such films as The Cotton Club and White Nights. Twenty-eight years ago this week, musician Jerry Garcia died at the age of 53. He was an icon of the counterculture as the frontman for The Grateful Dead. Singer and actress Whitney Houston was born 60 years ago this week. She died in 2012 at the age of 48. She was the only artist in history to have seven consecutive number one singles, from Saving All My Love For You through Where Do Broken Hearts Go, and she smashed records with her cover of I Will Always Love You. Singer Ronnie Spector was born 80 years ago this week. She died in 2022 at the age of 78. The lead singer of the 60s girl group The Ronettes, she was known for hits like Be My Baby and Walking in the Rain. Astronaut Neil Armstrong was born 93 years ago this week. He died in 2012 at the age of 82. In 1969, he became the first human to walk on the moon. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in California have been lowered to honor Cal Fire Assistant Chief Josh Bischoff, Cal Fire Captain Tim Rodriguez, and Contract Pilot Tony Souza, who were killed in a mid-air collision while engaged in firefighting operations. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of former Woodbine Chief of Police Philip John DeSantis, who died in the line of duty 50 years ago this week. Flags in New Jersey have also been lowered to honor Lieutenant Governor Sheila Y. Oliver. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor Bradford Township Police Department Lieutenant Jeff Shade, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Indiana have been lowered in Johnson County to honor Johnson County Sheriff's Deputy Timothy J. Geyer, who died in the line of duty. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor Officer Matthew Logan Hare of the Easley Police Department, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor Vestavia Hills Police Chief Danny P. Rary. Flags in Oregon have been lowered to honor Rogue River Siskiyou National Forest Service firefighter Benjamin Charles Sapper, who died in the line of duty. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.